Hello, I'm Lars Strong, Senior Engineer with Upside Technologies, and I'd like to talk about sealing an important opening at the face of IT equipment cabinets. Some cabinets, by design, have the rails meeting the side of the cabinet, and this space is sealed, and there's no opportunity for air to flow through this space. However, many cabinets have some opening, and it may be large, as is shown here, or smaller. But in any case, it's very important to seal this opening between the rails and the sides of the cabinet. It's important for a few reasons. One, hot air may circulate from the back of the cabinet into the IT equipment intakes, or in a cold contained aisle, it's possible for that conditioned air to flow through the space and go out the back of the cabinet, being lost from the enclosure. So to optimize cooling, improve the intake temperatures, reduce operating costs. For all of these reasons, it is important to seal this opening. And to address that, we've developed a rack airflow management kit, or a RAM kit. And I'll show you the components of that kit, show you how to modify those components for unique situations in your cabinet, and then show you how to install it. The components of a rack airflow management kit are a plastic extrusion and a flexible membrane. The flexible membrane inserts into the extrusion and then the extrusion attaches to the rails in the cabinet to seal an opening. The extrusions are available in either a 45 degree angle or a 90 degree angle and the flexible membrane is available in either a two and a half inch, four inch or five and a half inch width. Very simple tools are required for cutting the components to length. A straight edge, a knife for cutting the flexible membrane, a saw for cutting the extrusion, obviously a tape measure, something to mark the lengths with, and a file or some other means to clean up the edges, get all the loose pieces off of the extrusion once it's cut. With the flexible membrane and extrusions cut to length, insert the membrane into the extrusion, and you now have a component ready for installation. Once all the components are cut, it's time for installation. The extrusion fits over the rail, and that portion of the ram kit is in place. There will be different lengths, of course, for the different spaces between braces and, and various components around the cabinet. So in determining where to install the RAM kit in the cabinet, be sure to take a look at the top above the highest component and at the very bottom also. In some cabinets there's an opening below the lowest piece of equipment and it's very important to seal that space as well. So appreciate your time and for more information on the RAM kit please visit our website. Thank you very much.